In this tutorial, we will see how to create surface loft. So first, we will have to create some curves that we will use for loft. So we will create it on suppose front plane. Sketch. Suppose I want to create a spline curve. So let's give the start point. Then second point third point fourth and fifth so this one curve is created press escape to come out accept so this one curve is created then for other curves I have to create some planes so select the front plane go to features and select reference plane then give the distance suppose I give a distance of 100 or I will give it to be of suppose 200 ok so I will create a curve on this plane also then take the normal to then create one more curve suppose I want curve like this here so this one more curve is ready accept then isometric view the isometric view so this curve is ready one more curve we will create so again I will have to create one plane so just select the front plane features reference plane then I want to be on opposite side just reverse direction so it will be created backward just say accept isometric so this plane is already selected sketch then create a spline curve again then normal to So one more curve we will create now here. Suppose I want this curve to be like this. Something like this. So on this side and again back to bottom. Escape so here you will see that actually this point is in co uh, coincide with this uh, vertical axis that we will use because we for that guides we will need that point in one line so we have created three curves just see the isometric view then we can connect this three curve using loft surface loft say insert surface loft and select all the three curves one and three so in this way this surface is connected and created if we accept it it will look like this and suppose if you want to see one more option if you edit the feature so one more option is there that is guide curves so to see that how it works we will just create some guide curves and use that in this loft so we'll just undo the current loft ok just undo the current loft and create some curves so we will create some curve on the right plane just uh, select right then sketch then spline then normal to now we, uh, it is very important that those guide curves should touch these curves then only it will be it will be used for loft so uh, I am taking that point top point then some point is here then again I will take it the top point of the curve again suppose one point is here and other point again I will take that top point escape accept so this curve is touching the three curves and I want some guide curves on this top plane also so I will create those, play, uh, those curves also sketch 
spline then normal to then again same care needs to be taken it should be touching the your main shape so I will just click here the endpoint of the last curve then again endpoint of this curve again some curvature and endpoint of this curve and escape then accept again I will select top curve I want le on left side also spline normal to ok directly from this endpoint one more curve I will create ok spline from end of this curve this middle point again end of this curve again middle point and again end of this curve so in this way three curves are created then we can use these curves as a guide guide curves so just again take the option insert surface loft then select all these three curves three main curves as a profiles first second third so these are profiles then click in inside guide curves and select these curves as a guide curves first then uh, middle second then third and uh, it is giving some error actually if you try to accept it is giving direction 1 curve number 2 is invalid it does not intersect with direction 2 number 1 so somewhere it is not intersecting so we will just cancel it and here we will have to edit this curve so just we will edit it sketch 4 edit sketch so here we will just pull it up ok we will just cancel this relationship and we will select it manually this point and this point control we will press control and select both the point and then ok no relation ok so here coincidence we will apply so they will match with each other then we we'll just say isometric and here also it is not matching so again we will catch this point and this point and we will say coincidence so those are also matching and here also this point and this point and coincidence so they will exactly match then accept then come out then again say loft insert surface loft then select the three curves first second third then select the three guide curves first second ok it is now properly matching and third one is here on the back side ok so in this way this loft is ready with guide curves you can just accept it and in this way this surface loft is ready so you can give it a specific color by selecting on color select this feature and give the color desired color accept isometric so in this way you can use loft feature in solidworks